Yo, what's good, YouTube? I'm back with another reaction video, and we got NBA on CBS. The game, the that game five, Patrick Ewing takes on Larry Bird in 1990 playoffs. Now, I think I did do a video of this, but it wasn't this long, so this is kind of like almost like the it's not full game, but most of it. It's like almost 15, 20 minutes. So, uh, yeah, I'm ready to get straight into this video, man, and uh. If y'all y'all let me know in the comments what full games I should do, since I'm a thousand subs now, because I know we we a lot of people were saying that I should do a full game, but uh, I might do that still by Bird with the Detroit Pistons. That might be a full game I might do. I'm not sure though. Anyway, man, let's get straight into the video, man. Subscribe if you're new. Hit that like button. Turn on that bell. We upload it every single day, man. And I deeply appreciate y'all so much, man. Deeply appreciate y'all. But uh, let's get straight into this video, man. Let's get straight into it. And just last week, the Celtics showed some old championship form as they seemed unstoppable against the New York Knicks. While everything seemed to go wrong for the Knicks, the Celtics were running on all cylinders, setting playoff records and sending the Knicks home down and almost out. The series shifted to another garden, and New York facing elimination. The Knicks looked to their offensive machine to save them. The franchise, Patrick Ewing, exploded for 77 points in two games. And a once-confident Celtic team saw their commanding lead slip away as the Knicks tie the series, showing some garden magic of their own. Welcome to Boston for the decisive Game 5 between the Celtics and the revived Knicks. Get set for another garden party. It's the NBA playoffs on CBS. Boston Garden is packed and the fans are ready for the fifth and deciding game of this first round Eastern Conference battle between the New York Knicks and the Boston Celtics. Daryl Garrettson, Jake O'Donnell, and Mike Mathis. And it's going to be Celtics ball. Well, let's see if they go into their power game. Mikhail Parrish. Bird. And the rebound by Oakley. Get every time almost. Quick double with Lewis helping out on Ewing, and Gerald Wilkins hits the jump shot. Basketball. See, they're trying to get him in deep today. Up here in games one and two, they felt that Patrick was getting the ball too far off the lane. They post up Dennis Johnson against Mo Cheeks, and Robert Parrish way off the mark. Parrish. The Knicks won't mind Parrish shooting from there. And Jimmy Rogers wants patience today. There you saw Cheeks, the designated double teamer. Oh, that was a borderline. Larry Bird doing something he hadn't done in the series, going in for a shot. Crashing the boards. That Damn, you sure that was that was a foul, bro. Come on. Even though I know back in these times they didn't really like, you know, they let him fight and stuff, but that was foul. <laughs> Something different from Larry Bird. They played their most intelligent game of the season in many view. There's Ewing. Looked like he was trying to pass the ball. And the break and the pressure in the backcourt are all meant to wear down the Celtics in the fourth quarter. Yes. But uh, out of character in this series because he's taking it all the way down. Wilkins with a jumper and Gerald Wilkins with it. Nick Stockton with Hubie Brown and Tim Brandt here at Boston Garden. Another great fan. Dennis Johnson to Larry Bird in trouble. Dennis Johnson drives in, blocked by Ewing. And it's still Boston's goal. Outstanding effort by Patrick Ewing. He came from the other side of the lane and came across. Now watch down on the baseline. You'll see Vandeweghe lose sight of the basketball. A beautiful catch and a great pass threading the needle. Bird goes right around Ewing. Larry Bird told us yesterday that he was going to be more offensive minded than their foul as well. And he certainly has come out this way, but not with the outside shooting as you usually find. See what I like about his game today. You'll see he just crosses over and takes Ewing. No rotation by the Knicks. Too late that time. Now, what do you like about Bird's game today? Kale. Giving up a lot of height. Larry Bird hits the three. 
He's cooking. And they'll be able to get the job done. Double team on McHale. Looking to get a foul on Ewing. Instead, Ewing gets a piece of it. And Oakley saves it to Wilkins. Now watch this move by McHale. Trying to split it. Nice block by Patrick Ewing. Every shot. Three minutes to go in the first quarter. Great feed. Oakley from Ewing. And that's a play that worked effectively in game four. Into Ewing. Triple team on Patrick. And Patrick Ewing with his first points of the game. And it comes with two minutes to go. And three seconds of the first. I know it's a playoffs, but this is intense, y'all. I'm loving this. Water. One thing we know, every game has a different personality. Johnny Newman and go. Others they call really borderline. That's the way it goes. Ewing on the baseline. Only a second basket. He's going to stop on that side of the floor when he catches and spins to the baseline. Oh. Left-handed layup by Bird in traffic. Celtics looking to match their biggest lead. And there's Joe Klein, blocked by Ewing. Keep an eye on Larry Bird and watch how he splits the double team here. See, that was beautiful. See, that's what I meant. Gerald Wilkins on Larry Bird. He's Double on McHale. Harris comes in and misses inside. The rebound by Ewing. Five today, Dick. Nick's missing an awful lot of open jump shots. McHale driving in. And you know, the Celtic... Now, it's a good two-man set here if Ewing can get in deep. Ewing feeds Oakley. They doubled him, and Oakley ran around the baseline. Okay. Three seconds now. Bird fires from three. Tipped away. And... Keep an eye on Ewing now. Watch him going into the triple team and yet being able to deliver the pass beautifully. Well done. Banging in here. McHale on the bench with five. Ewing comes in again. Patrick Ewing got off to a slow start, but now he has scored six points. He loves to attack the rim, and he said, I've been able to do it in the Boston series. Nearly another turnover. They go into Ewing. Good nice, fake on Paris. Nice. Rebound by Oakley, and he converts, and Jimmy Rogers has to call a timeout. So he's going to his starters again, Jimmy Rogers. Bird has it blocked. That's four by Ewing, and it's Larry Bird on the recovery. For presence to keep it up, because he knew if he put it down, Ewing would have been right on him. And the throw pass. Oakley was muscling inside against Larry Bird. Tucker now low into Ewing. To Oakley. They ran that a hundred times, and now it's starting to work for them again. Well, I'll tell you what, to be in that stance that he was just in, <laughs> he's unconscious a little bit. Larry Bird. Got he put the move on him. Newman talked about how tough it is guarding Bird because he's got a million moves down here today. <laughs> now watch uh, on this pass inside. Johnny Newman trying to give different looks on Bird. But Larry knows that he can shoot over the top of Johnny any single, any time that he wants because of the size differential. Playing over 40. Newman tried to gamble against Bird. Was coming down to double team on Ewing. Cheeks misses. And it's tipped out by Ewing, and it might have been Parrish. <laughs> Patrick Ewing was criticized this week after the 2 to nothing lead by Boston. First time since he's come to New York, really, because maybe his lack of effort to get into position. Look how he answered them. Well, any time that you go for 38 points and 16 rebounds in two games, and then how about the seven steals? Only one steal away from the NBA playoff record. You know, so you know that he answered the bell. I like what Robert Parrish had to say about him. Robert said he's a better player today because he's more intense at both ends. He has a variety of shots and just doesn't throw the fadeaway jump shot. He gives you the jump hook now, and the spin move on the baseline is the toughest thing for me to guard. Today. But they are not delivering two on one or three on one. Parrish gets the pass at a good spot and beats the smaller Knicks inside. Patient by Parrish. That's his third block. Beautiful. Bird to Paris. Rolling to the basket as, as good as he could do. Presence of always giving the ball up to a guy for an easier attempt. Look at this pass. What beautiful recognition. A 20-second timeout called by the Knicks. Everyone freezes and Paris going to the basket. Well, because who are we going to pass the ball to? Oakley gets hit inside. Johnny Newman runs into McHale. Ewing 
scores with six tenths of a second to go. Otherwise, catch it and keep moving it. Double team, Gerald Wilkins smartly puts up the jumper. He saw Bird in front of him. Yeah, the Chiefs' right hand, and he did that that time. Ewing with a jumper. I ain't gonna lie, Ewing is balling, though. I ain't gonna keep it real, man. Ewing is balling. Ewing has it slapped away by Dennis Johnson. Plenty of time. Gerald Wilkins with a jumper. Boy, he's come out. Harris with three fouls. Ewing. Great play by Ewing. Going the opposite way. Playing Gerald Wilkins for the moment. Ewing, top of the key. He knows the rims here. Well, he went to high school here, didn't he? Already has eight here in the third quarter. Ewing comes back with a jumper, and he remains active, and it's 80, 68 to 66 here in the third. Bird cutting across the lane. Vandaway did everything he could do there. One shot here in the third quarter, and we have just under seven minutes to go. Bird causes a turnover. Now watch Larry Bird read this pick. As Bird comes off, he comes shoulder to shoulder with the pick man. Now right there, you'll see that Vandaway is picked. Now, once he makes the catch, he looks, he could go down the lane, but look what we have here. We have three Knicks. So he says, little ball fake. Now I come back and I make my move. Naturally, everyone can make this shot. All right, off the glass. Now, at the other end, watch a player coming off a pick incorrectly. Now, as Vanderway comes off of this, you see right there, he allowed the defensive man to come in between the pick and cause a turnover. 35 to go. Oakley gets it into Ewing. He's been a giant offensively here in the third quarter, and Ewing. Lead is five. McHale has already hit one three point basket. That goes over the top. He still has it. Under five minutes to go in the third. The Celtics spurt, but Boston still in front in this deciding game. Larry Bird hits. That 21 points. Inside to the big thumb. I'll tell you, Klein's doing a good job on him. Yes, he is. In traffic, Cheeks with a great reverse left-handed layup. Open. So the Knicks regain the lead by one. Go on baseline and a push by Newman. And Larry Bird will go to the line. Now... Now watch this return. Now how about this shot? Beautiful. Played the glass, got the bite. Bird looking inside. Parrish kept out well by Ewing. Long shot by Parrish. She's looking for their biggest lead of the game. Johnny Newman splits the middle to Patrick Ewing, and it's a five-point lead. Pass to the guy who has a better shot. Now watch Parrish react. Look at that triple team presence to drop off the pass. Johnny Newman picks up his fourth personal foul. He, he staggered his dribble and then took advantage. Larry Bird comes back 25 for Larry Bird. How we handle those runs will determine how we come out. The moment of truth. And maybe in the midst of one now. See? 27 for Bird. High score. Tucker for three. And he nails it. Big one for Trent Tucker. Bird posting up against Newman. Ewing blocks it. McHale misses the jumper. And now the Knicks. Ewing. And it drops. Patrick Ewing now has 26 points. Double team with Cheeks. Dennis Johnson open. Bird again in traffic. Cheeks is fouled by Dennis Johnson. Lucky. Yeah. Newman made the free throw. Four point nice. lead. Oakley drives in, and it's 97 91 and was six. Double team McHale and Parrish on Ewing, and Johnny Newman gets free again. It's one more there in the penalty. See, now watch as McHale comes. We call this big man, big man. That opens up either Oakley or the slice man. That's the thing with the Knicks, you want to keep your movement. Ewing. And it's a four-point affair again, and Patrick Ewing has 28 points, leading by okay. four. Cheeks. Okay. It's the Knicks a six-point lead from being a race final. Here's Oakley. Really threw it away. One second. Ewing. Oh, 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 
gotta know something when that happens. Whoa. Yeah, this must be game. He's balling out, huh? Damn, yo. <laughs> Yo. It's a six point lead from being a race final. Here's Oakland. He really threw it away. One second. You hit oh, the corner. Oh, oh. You gotta know something when that happens. That's an omen. And some of the fans are starting to make their way to the exits. Watch how he picks this up. The bench is yelling at him shoot it, shoot it. And not only does he make it, he makes a three. Look at Stu. Come on, Stu. <laughs> Will it in. <laughs> We had to pump everyone up because we were all being traded. We were all being sold down the street. And then he said, For themselves. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Three point shot missed. And a loose ball foul. It'll be against Charles Oakley. It'll be his fifth. And Joe Klein. Bird inside. Still fighting. Draws the foul. Bird now looking for his 30th point. The jinx is over. 26 straight victories by the Boston Celtics comes to an end. And the New York Knickerbockers become only the third team in history to overcome a 2 nothing deficit and win a best-of-five series. Patrick, can you put it into words and in the streak, winning game five right here in home, your hometown? It's destiny. It's destiny. It feels, it feels so good. Everybody has counted us out. You know, we just came together. I think that all the controversy and everything that that our media been saying about us just light a fire on, underneath our butts and we just rose to the occasion you had four after one you ended up with a big game what what was it it got you off track well i didn't i'm not ready to go home uh <laughs> that's that was it all right patrick good luck the rest thank of the you way. thank you very much miller light player of the game is patrick ewing a fan Fantastic effort today, and on his behalf, Miller Lite will donate 1,000. I ain't gonna lie, man. Hey, Patrick, he was balling. <laughs> he was balling, man. I know we usually see Larry Bird and his own, but Larry Bird was balling too, of course. But that was a good game. I ain't gonna lie. That was a good game. Even though they lost, that was a good game. I'm pretty sure they probably lost that. I'm pretty sure they might have lost this. I don't know. This is 1990. I know Light Bird was kind of little, uh, you know, getting to this. You know, I, I don't know. Y'all can let me know in the comments. I'm not sure if they lost this series. And I'm pretty sure Boston might have won. I'm, I think so. I don't know. I'm not too sure. I kind of don't really remember, to be honest. But, uh, yeah, man, that was about it. Hey, man, this, this, hey, anytime I'll be hyped, too, if I be Light Bird. <laughs> <laughs> in the Celtics, man, I would be hyped too. See, like that's like a dream come true, right? But uh, anyway, man, you know, I keep it short and sweet. I'm on to the next video, man. I appreciate all love and support, y'all. Uh, this is definitely a good game. I know maybe some people might not think that oh, you know, it wasn't really. It was, it was Larry, but they was battling it out, man. Hey, you and Patrick, you and you gotta give them respect, man. Sometimes you, not sometimes you gotta give people the respect, man. Because I know it's people that like Larry Bird, that like Michael Jordan and Magic Johnson. So it's not like it's I'm, you know, trying to say oh, one's better than the other, nothing. But of course, Larry Bird is better than you and. But I'm just, you know, it is what it is, man. It's this, it's all fun at the end of the day, and uh, this is definitely a good video. They definitely was battling. It out man i definitely will watch this full game and uh yeah that's about it though man i love y'all man i'm on to the next video subscribe if you're new hit that like button turn on that bell man uploading every single day and uh yeah that's about it man i'm out i love y'all peace